Hey guys and welcome to Graphic Designer Pro. In this video we're going to be looking at what we consider to be the best new feature in Adobe Photoshop 2020 and that is the object selection tool. Now if you're watching this in November 2019 this has only just been released. We've also done a video on the new features of Adobe Illustrator 2020 so do be sure to check that out as well. Let's jump onto the computer now and we'll take a look at this new feature. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop 2020 and this is the template file that we're going to be working on to show you this new tool. You can download this exact same file if you want from the link in the description and follow along from home and try it out for yourself. So there's nothing special about this. We've got a few different layers down here and this is just an example of the kind of situation that you might be using a tool like this. So as designers, we tend to use Photoshop a lot for doing this very thing, cutting subjects or objects out of images um, and then using them in our designs. Now you'll see we have a couple of image layers turned off here in our layers panel. These are the subjects that we are going to attempt to cut out and use in our design with this new tool. All of these images are just free stock images that we've downloaded from a couple of different websites. So one of them is called Pexels and the other one is called Unsplash. We'll leave links to them in the description below you should check them out and you can try out some other images as well with some of these new features. So jumping straight in we're going to attempt to cut out this well it's more of a satellite than a spaceship. Now this is where this tool is brilliant we've got an image here that's you know it's not particularly high quality you can see if I zoom in it's not amazing and it's still fairly busy although we have this satellite sitting above this background here it's there's still quite a lot going on around the edges of it so this is testament to how good this tool is you'll see in a second that it does a very good job of making a selection around this. The tool itself is called the object selection tool as we said and it can be found over on the left hand toolbar. Now by default you may well have the magic wand tool selected when you open Photoshop however if I just click and hold you can see up at the top we now have this object selection tool. The first thing I want to do is check our mode again by default this may well be set to the rectangle mode this just changes the way in which we can make this selection. So with the rectangle we would essentially just be dragging a rectangle over the object that we want to select. However I much prefer the lasso tool. If I select that all I need to do is click and drag a rough line around our object so it doesn't even have to be that precise as you can see here. Join that back up to the other side and you can see it's automatically made a selection around our object and this has done a really good job already. Even when I zoom in here you can see it's found the edges very well despite all of the detail going on around the satellite. So it's an incredibly impressive feature. Now of course this isn't magic, it's not going to work with all images. If you have a very busy image and there's not much contrast between the object you're trying to select and the background, it's not always going to do a perfect job so just be aware this image although it is fairly busy it's still got enough contrast that it's able to do a good job. Okay I'm just going to show you the rectangle mode as well so as we said you can just click and drag a rectangle over the object you want to select. You can see it's still done a pretty good job however it's now selected some more of the ground below and that's just because I probably dragged that out a little bit too big. However we still have the ability to modify this selection as well so I'm going to revert back to the lasso mode here. If I hold option on my Mac or alt on a PC I can click around any areas and that should remove that section as well. As you can see that's done a good job there. I can also add areas by holding shift on my keyboard and I can click out another selection here and you can see I can add in sections as well. What I like to do though I find the best thing is to use a combination of our object selection tool and the quick selection tool. Now the quick selection tool is the old favourite and certainly my favourite tool to use for selecting objects. It's still incredibly relevant and I think using a combination of this and the new object selection tool is going to be really helpful for making selections now. We can use the object selection to make larger selections of the overall object and then use the quick selection tool just to fine tune this. So this works in the same way if you're not familiar I can hold option or alt on a PC and click and remove sections of 
of our selection you can see it does a pretty good job or I can click and drag just to add areas back in so very powerful and I think using these in conjunction with each other is going to be incredibly useful so in this case what I'm actually going to do is deselect the satellite I'll go back to our object selection and I'm just going to reselect this with our lasso mode like so and you can see again it's done a very impressive job grab my quick selection again and I'm just going to go through and make sure that there are no obvious mistakes in it I think this is looking good so yeah it's not absolutely perfect but it's going to do just fine for this example another good idea if you're not familiar with modifying selections it's always a good idea I think especially when you're applying automatic selections like we have done here you can go up to select modify and you can see we have a few options to choose from here we can contract the selection in a few pixels and that just will get rid of any potential areas of the background coming into our selection or I can smooth it out that's always another good option because automatic selections quite often will leave quite a jagged edge so I'll select this smooth option and we'll maybe go three pixels and see how that does it's probably not going to do an awful lot with this it's already pretty smooth and I'm just going to add a layer mask to this layer and that's going to get rid of the background and you can see this has done a really impressive job from very little work on our part so this new tool is a definite game changer in Photoshop it's gonna come in very handy I feel for a lot of designers now we have one more image here and this is another good example of an image that's going to work very well with this tool you can see we have different moons here or different cycles of the moon and they're all quite sharp edged there's a lot of contrast so this is the perfect type of image for these tools so again I can just very roughly click and drag around this and you can see it's made a very perfect selection there I can press command J or control J on a PC and that's just going to put our selection on a new layer go back to our original image even on these moons over on the left hand side where we've got much more shadow and there's much less contrast at the top end it's still sharp enough and our background is flat enough that it should still do a good job of making the selection so again I'm just clicking and dragging around and you can see it's done an excellent job here as well so I'll just turn off our layer there and you can see we have our two new selections here as well so there you have a quick overview of the new object selection tool in Photoshop 2020 of course this is just one of many new features in this version of Photoshop and if you'd like us to cover more of these features in future videos do let us know in the comments down below Remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and if you haven't already, subscribe for more weekly content. If you'd like to know more about our full graphic design course, visit graphicdesignerpro.com. See you next time.